This is Mercenaries Playground of Destruction. We're here on Xbox Series X, diving into this open world sandbox experience of combat, destruction, and, well, generally intense action. So be sure to like the video. Subscribing is great as well. And you gotta watch out for those grenades against yourself. They can give you a bit of a stun. So you're probably wondering what we have here on the Series X. Well, it's a 4K resolution widescreen, obviously, as you can see, at 60 FPS with auto HDR support. So it's kind of like, I guess you would say, the full package. So it features a destructible world that you can enjoy and blow up. And it is one that does kind of, I guess you would say, respawn if things you know, kind of go haywire and that uh, everything can come back, which is kind of interesting, I suppose, if you're into that sort of thing. So you kind of have different goals that you can go and do, and different battles that you can go and have. So it's, it's kind of an interesting open world shooter chaos game, which is kind of intriguing, I think. I, I don't know, I definitely think a lot of people are quite fond of this experience and what it has to offer. There is a lot of gameplay to enjoy in this one, and some crazy things to have happen. But uh, let's take out some of these targets. Can we actually get up there? Hmm. Kind of weird for the reload. Okay, so there we go. There's some grenade options. Oh, and there are vehicles and stuff. Hopefully we'll find some. But it, it very much is a, a bit of a classic type game. This is always one that you hear of where people want, you know, follow-ups. They, they always want to see some more from it. And it's it's just been something that's been kind of sitting there for a long time, right? Like, there's a couple of them, but I guess I could have subdued some of these guys. I guess I'm more of a straight killer, I suppose you would say. Hello there. Challenge failed. I think this was a good challenge. <laughs> I think I got the job done. Kinda hurt myself a lot though. Kill or subdue. Alright, let's go see what we can do out here in the uh, the open world. Oh, that was a grenade, my bad. I'm actually going to end up destroying myself before I get anything good done. But yeah, you can visit this, like, just open world location. There's a lot of different spots to kind of go to. You've got this classic phone from the era. You know, so it's, it's definitely quite an intriguing experience. I was hoping there would be a, a vehicle up ahead that we could kind of grab, but... Yeah. I'm going to take a second to get over there. Hello, vehicle thing. I need to use this vehicle. Thank you. But you know, for a game of its its age, it it doesn't actually look too bad. You know, but it's actually kind of pretty good looking. There is a heavy amount of fog to hide the the pop and stuff. Remember when we used to do that for games? We would do uh, kind of like some foggy uh, ways in order to hide stuff. But it's it's kind of interesting. Like you're just kind of in this world causing all of this like intense destruction and that and you know it's just it's basically this like war torn like location I wonder if there's anything cool going on here that we can do and then you just kind of get missions that you can kind of pick and choose from which is interesting like it's a very different type of game where it's like literally the playground of destruction uh, yeah I think I'm headed this way And then it's got like an interesting backdrop, the whole South Korea type angle. Really? That uh, kind of injured me there? Okay, there we go, because I was like, oh. See? Destructible fences. It was way ahead of its time. Oh, but in all seriousness, you get like different places you can visit. There's different elevation points you can go to, different houses. There's some like interior type stuff. It's, it's kind of neat, and it really is sort of a... Uh, I didn't really want to jump out of there like that. It really is something of its time, you know, the whole Pandemic Studios kind of thing, classic group. Very, very interesting. He needs some action and footage. Go! Okay, uh... Explosions! 
Alright, look at the destruction on that vehicle. Oh, is he... He's not following me? You don't want some of this action? It looks like we got dynamic weathering, too. I supposed to cause action this way, okay. Not, But not this way. Oh. It just looks like it's a food vehicle. But you can see like the car kind of breaking down, that's a little cool. This is kind of blown away by this riveting action. But yeah, seriously, like look how the vehicle kind of gets dented and stuff. That's really, really quite neat. They always used to do this kind of crazy thing back in the day. I don't know what this guy wants from me. Do you want action? It's like he's interested for two seconds and then doesn't keep following me. And you are arrested. Even though I don't think we're supposed to arrest the the camera guy looking to do some propaganda shots. Yep, probably not the best of ideas. But at least we got this really cool little jeep that we can use. Alright, onwards. Yeah, it's got like a decently detailed environment too. And it's just really free in what you're able to do, except if you're going out of bounds. So, not the best of ideas. All right, let's head back and let's let's go to the actual, I guess you would say, flag area over there. Not to be confused with that flag. That is such a cool jump maneuver you can kind of do to get out of the vehicles fast. I'm disguised as a North Korean. Really? Horn honked, disguise lost. I mean, I'm using like an army jeep. You think that wouldn't be like a kind of a red flag sort of thing where it's like, hey, yo. They're probably not on our. Oh, jeez. Then again, maybe civilians take uh, military vehicles all the time. Who's to say, right? Oh, no! Come back! I wanted to be on the back of this so I could fight that cheap thing. Oh, it's it's going that way. Okay. What about you? What what do you want me to do? Yeah, I guess I'm hunting down. Vehicles. All righty. And where are these jeeps I'm supposed to take down? This jeep? Oof. Wonder if we're gonna be able to use that in the future. Now we can enter the HQ. Oh, and the loading is like instant now. What do you think? Are you gonna be able to work with this guy? Let's go, troop. I've dealt with lots of blowhards like him. I've identified each defense point for you. They'll flash when NK troops are in proximity. You won't have long to get from point to point, so be quick. Enemy! Troops are attacking the north defense point. We can't let this morale be lost. I 
I think we kind of have them on the run, but it's hard to say. We're here to have some vehicles. At least we're making some good cash for this effort. I would appear that I am out of ammo. This is when the war begins. Whoa! Look at that. That is the destruction we're looking for. Mad cash bonuses for this kind of destruction. Troops are moving in near the east defense point. Well, we better get going. I feel like the, the hopping is to jump and kind of move technique it does not make you get places faster, sadly. You just gotta sprint walk. Have you noticed in the shadow that my character does not have a gun in their hand? It's <laughs> kind of funny looking. Well, at least uh, better than no shadow, I suppose. I'm actually amazed with how clean everything runs, but I guess it shouldn't be too surprising. Is that everything? Nice. What am I going to do with all this cash I'm making? I'm needed elsewhere. Maybe I should take the vehicle to get over here? Eh, there's always another jeep over in this other spot. Is there like a rocket thing? Here we go. I mean, if you guys want to use the turrets to help, that would be helpful too. Ooh, do we need that fence to defend that place? I hope not. Whoa! Look at that insane destruction. Where did that leave, like, did that jump up in the air and then land there? That's crazy. I don't know how the morale couldn't be higher. NK forces are attacking the north defense point again. I've been defending these points like crazy. I'm like an ultimate hero of this land. I'm coming back for support, guys. Don't worry. These are machine guns? Can I use this? Look at zoom in. Should I add some more rocket ammo? I think we did a pretty good defense today. I'm very proud of this team. Oh, did I accidentally just like annihilate that guy who was walking from me? Not bad, teammate. Hope this doesn't impact morale at all. I 
I mean, the objective is done, so I guess I'm just kind of killing stragglers. I'm so proud of this team. Even though I did all of the work. I'm going to take this guy and this rocket vehicle with me. Really? We're disguised? We literally have like a rocket on this cheek. We're not exactly a very subtle sort of uh, disguise group going on here. Well, as long as this guy keeps firing at the enemies, I don't see the issue. The good old fog of war. This is actually how it looks in this place. Oh, I'm so sorry. Ten thousand oh, dollars? That's that's a fair price. I mean, it is a civilian that I accidentally mowed down. Yeah, ten thousand. I guess isn't too bad for a human life. Mafia HQ Looking guard, yo, mafia cash, guy. Eh? Here to work with the mafia. Hey, all right. Just what I need. A professional. Don't underestimate him. He may act. Like Ooh, they're pretty well animated too for the era. Sergei, I don't trust him. Me either, but he could be a valuable resource. There's a bonus objective. He's like just throwing grenades at me. There's only scattered resistance in the area, but those machine guns could be dangerous. So I have to take out machine guns while doing this? Sounds like a very dangerous mission. Well, that's not helping me out. There we go. Oh, so we actually have to like blow, blow, blow these up. Good work. Only one more left. Well, it seems like a pretty easy bonus objective, so we might as well get it done. Down wall. Now ah, this truck has uh, seen better days, that's for sure. I'm stealing a truck for the mafia. Who saw this coming? Not me. But I'm a good mercenary, so I get the job done. Mercenaries. 